What's going on everyone? Today we're going to be watching and reacting to season three, episode six of Chucky, which is titled Panic Room. So I usually watch these a lot earlier. I usually watch these literally when it releases on cable, but I had to wait the next morning because uh, it, it just wasn't working. Like, I don't know, something was going wrong. There was a bunch of pop-ups on the screen and it wasn't the proper experience for watching it. So I decided I'd wait till the next morning. We are here now, really excited to check this out. Let's watch. <laughs> He's in a wheelchair now. I don't want you to die again. You can't die again, please. <laughs> Damn, he is definitely about to die soon. Everyone dies, kid. Some of us more than once. But I realize now the point is to make a difference while we're here. To leave a mark. To do something so big. He's gonna release those nukes, isn't he? He's, he's gonna do something like that. Oh shit. There's no way he's actually gonna do this, because that'll change. That'll, that'll literally start a nuclear war. <laughs> I, I just, I don't know. You really shouldn't smoke. That stuff will kill you. A ghost ripped my husband's face apart. I know, and I am going to deal with it. Damn, dude. They didn't even show us her initial reaction to it. She must still be in shock over it. Price. Oh shit. Is it gonna say Chucky did it? Yeah. <laughs> That's gotta be him writing as a ghost. Like the president. Who the fuck is Chucky? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, he's gonna unleash those nukes, isn't he? It's gonna happen. Get me intel on any POTUS associate who goes by the name of oh. Chucky. <laughs> the uh, music there was the, uh, what do you call it? The Curse of Chucky theme was kicking in a little bit. I always like when that theme kicks in. They, they, they played it quite a bit throughout this show. How are they going to play this off? Like, they can't what? not announce that the president's dead. What? What? Cool. Cool. What? Sorry, man. What? He was, Let uh... me go. He was an incredible man. What the hell is going on? I apologize, man, but we can't wake your boys. I just... What the hell? Just a couple of days. We are leaving tonight. What are you talking about? You'll need your parka. We are going to Chicago. What is going on? Where's your dad? father is going to stay here. We are just going to land feed us for a couple of days, okay? Chucky's just sitting there. <laughs> Damn. Who the hell is that? Mr. Price is one of your father's advisors. Everything okay, man? They've never even met Mr. Price? What happened tonight is bigger than you. It's bigger than your family. It's bigger than me. And if this gets out, the world as we know and love it is over. The fact that ghosts exist, I guess that would raise a pretty big panic, especially if they killed the president. Where the hell have you two been? <laughs> yeah, they probably should have said something. While you two are busy consummating your relationship, Congratulations, by the way. I was here trying to get us back in the good graces of Grant so How we does can she know that? <laughs> find my sister and kill Chucky. He's already dying. Cool. So if he dies while we sit around and do nothing, then we will never find Caroline. That's that true. The first son invited us for dinner and a movie. Yeah, well, this, that was before his dad oh, got killed. <laughs> Why aren't they saying anything about how this doll just suddenly looks weirdly That's different pretty advanced <laughs> stuff you did with joseph's makeup there oh they just pretty assume it's makeup that. dude the kids not know their father's dead i don't think they know his dad working early yep they don't even know yes he's very busy that's probably something you got to tell them you can't keep that secret forever what i need is to be able to take my family what's left of my family somewhere safe as far away from <laughs> if you take chucky with you you ain't safe but you are forcing me to keep them here at risk of death after a ghost murdered my husband. Whether you like it or not, you are more than complicit in covering up these murders. Oh my god, she she didn't really have a choice here. You're you're kind of forcing it. We're calling in the experts. Oh goody. Experts of what exactly? Some Watergate era Ghostbusters? <laughs> you think this is the first time we've ever experienced something unusual? In this place? I want a name. What is the name of the expert you called? Dr. Carol Lindstrom, our expert in the paranormal. So there's been ghost stuff here before? Like way before the show? There's someone else you need to meet first. Wait, what? That 
don't make no sense. I'd like you to meet the president's double. <laughs> this show's ridiculous sometimes, man. <laughs> Oh my yes. god. I hope I can be a port in your storm. Did they like clone him or is he just he just happens to look very similar? Oh my god. They always want to keep Devin Sawa in the show, man. Whatever they however they can. This is the fifth Devin Sawa character, right? I think it is. Hi. <laughs> How are you? So good. How are you? What's wrong? I have a really bad feeling about this. Chucky runs on bad feelings. We're the heroes, remember? Oh, I just love a good sequel. <laughs> Don't you? Said you had the hookup for the stuff that hasn't had the theaters yet, right? Oh, yeah. We get all the latest. Oh, we could watch the new Marvel. The new Marvel. <laughs> Who calls them the new Marvel? Like, you say, you say Marvel movie. The new Marvel. You think she actually likes him? Honestly, I think she kind of does. Yeah, she does a little. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this song really is her favorite song. Oh shit, he can sing too. When they cast like roles like this, do they have to make sure the actor can sing before they, they cast them? <laughs> just because they know they might have to do something like this later on. Because imagine the person just couldn't sing for shit. Yeah, she likes him. I didn't know you had company over. Wait, you said it was okay, remember? Sorry. <laughs> a lot's been, lots going on for her. Has uh, dad home yet? Uh, no, he's probably working late. Why don't you kids relax and we can order something from the kitchen? Can she be more obvious that something's going on? When's dad no, coming I mean, home? I don't blame her. Your father isn't feeling very well. She's going through everything right now. Well, earlier you said he was at work. He was. But now he's sick? Since when? I'm sure your friends would rather talk about something else. Well, I just want to know which is it. Is he working late or is he sick? It could be both. Where is Henry? He's just playing in his room. Yeah, he's taking care of his doll. <laughs> What's wrong with his doll? It's dying. Dude, what the hell's going on, man? Well, I know what's going on, but I also, it's just like the tension's really building, you know? You can feel it. They're gonna go put Chucky out of his misery. <laughs> this guy's a goofball. Hey, where the hell do you think you're going? <laughs> it's it's kind of dying, so excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> How sick are we saying he is? Optics, Madam First Lady. Reporter saw us dragging in the machines to the White House. It's imperative that the public doesn't ask too many questions. I feel like it would have been more believable if they just cloned the president without her knowing or something. <laughs> Cause like, hey, how do you find someone that looks exactly the same? I mean, technically we've like, we had three other characters in this universe that have also looked the exact same. Maybe they're all secretly twins, all five of them. Well, two of them we know were twins, but you know, then you had the priest, you know, like so many different What's my characters. Birthday? Joseph, you were born on leap year, remember? What is in there? Probably a gun. Oh, it's Joseph's birthday, okay. Oh shit. Fuck it. Your family is in danger. <laughs> Your brother's doll is alive. His name is Chucky, and he's a serial killer. She's just going for it. And he killed all these people on Halloween. And who knows how many others. On top of that, he's the only one who knows where my sister is. Is that why you're so obsessed with my brother and his doll? Because you think it's alive? I wouldn't be believing it either, but you have to at some point. Honesty, right? We did use you. And I'm sorry, but I also like you a lot. And I don't want Chucky hurting you or your family. This is good. It's, it's so good how, how honest she's being right now. skip over that whole teen movie drama moment where you're mad at me? Red <laughs> we need you. She's, she's kind of spitting right now. I'm not gonna lie. Like, she, she's not, she's, she, this is good. This is, you know, this is what she should be saying. She said it in the best way possible. Oh, shit. Daddy, what are you doing in here? Hey, Henry. He knows something's off. <laughs> Chucky's not even pretending. <laughs> you don't even look like him. Joseph, what are you doing? Stop calling me Joseph. 
My name is fucking Chucky. And I'm going for the news. <laughs> Henry had a bad dream. <laughs> Something about ghosts in the situation room. So I was just going to take him down there and show him, you know, no ghosts. <laughs> oh, shit. What? Now that's the ghost. What are you? Yeah, she could tell her husband apart. <laughs> I'm so sorry for everything. Yeah, he knows about the secrets she was keeping from him. I would, I'm assuming he knows now, right? Oh my god. Is everything okay, Mr. President? Yeah. <laughs> This guy knows something's up. <laughs> All the same, I should report your position. Eagle is on the move with baby. Chuck is gonna shoot him. <laughs> I don't even like guns. Actually, I was killed with a gun several <laughs> times. They're so fucking dangerous and they're so impersonal. Sir. Damn. Oh! I just severed his frontal lobe from his thalamus. So, he's fully aware when I do this. Oh, god damn! Damn. They're just gonna go straight down? You believe us now? No. <laughs> He's still having trouble believing it. Now, let's start World War Three. <laughs> oh shit! This is North American Aerospace Defense Command. Oh shit! <laughs> We're ready. They actually did win this. Twenty-three Sigma Eleven. Come on, man! You're gonna start a nuclear war. Like you gotta do something. You gotta try to fight back or something. Iris verification. Ooh. That's why he took out the eyes. Iris verification granted. Standing by for step three. <laughs> oh my god. My mother never thought I'd amount to anything. Of course, that might be because I killed her when I was seven. Nate and Ma! <laughs> why don't we start with Moscow, Pyongyang, and the 90th parallel north? Isn't that the North Pole? There's nobody there. I want to go to my grave knowing that every kid lucky enough to survive Armageddon will know there's no such thing as Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> the kids said what? Moscow. Moscow will start a nuclear war because uh, Russia's got a lot, a lot of nukes. In the 90th parallel north. <laughs> He's really about to die. Holy shit. <laughs> actually doing this <laughs> maybe they'll stop it in time i don't know you okay? where the hell is my sister come on tell me you delusional nuked up ginger <laughs> too late nimrods I'm, I'm almost dead i've never been happier <laughs> i'm gonna share that special feeling with the whole wide world Make sure you're getting this in 8K, Devin. I want everyone to see how gorgeous I is look. He, hopefully he's live streaming so he can just immediately get it out there. By the time I'm through, I'll have 8 billion victims. I'll be gone too, but I'll forever be known as the biggest serial killer in history. <laughs> Human or otherwise. Take another step, little Caesar. I'll blow that haircut <laughs> right off your stupid head. Damn for our fourth step, Mr. President. Ready to launch on your command, sir. Oh, shit. There you go. Maybe they'll stop it. I don't know. Because if, if it happens, I mean, that's going to change the course of this universe forever. He's the only way to Caroline to start World War III. Bro, uh, you can get Caroline. Oh, shit. Nice. I need more time. Ah. Uh. Uh. 
There's two more episodes left, right? <laughs> abort. I repeat, abort. Target Moscow revoked. Target Pyongyang revoked. All right. Not oh! <laughs> he said, fuck Santa. <laughs> oh, not the polar bears. <laughs> I don't think that's what a nuke dropping would look like at all, but oh, I'm not going to question it. Oh, there he goes. Well, I mean, that's not as bad as it could have been. He dropped the nuke in the North Pole. I mean, sure, it's probably still going to cause huge negative effects on the world, but it, it, it's not. I don't think it's going to start World War Three. You know, <laughs> that's still pretty huge. It could have been a lot worse, though. We're going to find Caroline. Who is that? That's not daddy. I'm glad they're able to notice. <laughs> oh, he's there. He's a ghost. <laughs> Oh. It's cool to see him. Is this the first time we've seen him as like his human form since the original film? Other than f flashbacks, obviously. Damn. My question is, like, is he ever going to get back in the doll? Like, I feel like he has to, but if he does, it'll be very different because he, I believe this confirms he's officially dead. Like, Chucky is dead. He's dead. Right? Before, he was never dead. He was just his soul was in different bodies, but he was never fully dead dead. But if he is able to somehow manage to get a ghost soul into a body, he would be a ghost as Chucky. I don't know. I, I don't want them to never do the doll again because that would be stupid in my opinion. Obviously, I prefer them in their doll's form, you know, as much as possible. Same for Tiffany. I always prefer Tiffany in the doll form. But um, I mean, because that's the whole point of watching these the, the, the this franchise it's a killer doll right if we're watching a killer ghost it's not chucky anymore so hopefully it's not something that stays like this for too long hopefully he's able to get himself back in a new doll or something like that uh but we'll have to wait and see i have no idea what they're going to be doing these next two episodes but i'm curious i'm very curious i think this episode was really good this is probably, probably one of the better episodes of the show to be honest and yeah i don't think there's anything too like world ending going on there you know the nuke definitely is huge but it didn't it, north pole you know probably gonna cause some problems poor polar bears but it's not starting a world war three which is good at least so uh let me know your guys thoughts in the comment section down below if you want to watch the full reaction that'll be my patreon link that'll be in the description down below don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel peace out everyone